Buffalo is a great city. Buffalo is a beautiful city. There's a lot of strong-minded people in Buffalo. People from Buffalo have a lot of grit and tenacity. One of the things I like about Buffalo is that people in Buffalo know how to endure. When there is hope, change can always come. And I think that's what's happening with the uh, Northland Beltline project. This area was known as the land of that time forgot. We think now it'll change from the land that time forgot to the land that time will remember. Something like this does not happen in every city, all right? We have something going on here in Buffalo that is phenomenal. This project is more than the renovation of a building. This project is about the revitalization of a neighborhood. It's about re-energizing the city of Buffalo. And if we're successful, it's about the rebound of U.S. manufacturing across this country. Buffalo has a tremendous manufacturing legacy. One of the greatest in North America. And to really realize how vast and extensive that industrial prowess was, all you have to do is travel along the Beltline. The Larkin Company. The Wonder Bread Factory. Bethlehem Steel, Republic Steel, General Motors, Ford, American Axle, Pierce Arrow, Niagara Tool and Machine. Curtis Wright was the second largest corporation in America at the end of the Second World War. Then when the manufacturing economy declined in the 70s and 80s, uh, it really hit U.S. manufacturing hard and hit Buffalo hard. Like many other Rust Belt cities, once the companies closed, the jobs dried up. Decades of lost jobs, lost productivity, and lost businesses. Dozens of factories that once employed tens of thousands of people along the Beltline became vacant and began to decay and became real symbols of the city's decline. if you will. It was like the ruins of a manufacturing empire. television one day and I saw that they the future for this plant and I said wow I say are you kidding me I first heard about the Northland Beltline initiative when I read it in the Buffalo News online I was thrilled when we first walked in the main building 683 Northland my initial reaction was shock The company that was here, Niagara Machine and Tool Works originally, started here in 1911. The challenges of bringing this building back to life were actually immense, especially because of the time frame that we had to work with to get this project done. Renovation is probably the hardest type of construction you can do, and it's been a fast track project from day one. This is one of the largest investments that's ever been made on the east side. A restoration of a building that's over 250,000 square feet. 
200 tons of steel, 30,000 cubic yards of concrete, 600 different tradesmen have been on site. The vision behind the redevelopment is to revitalize this Eastside community and transform this neighborhood into what we're calling the Advanced Manufacturing and Energy Corridor. We did a business plan for Buffalo and Western New York through the Governor's Regional Economic Development Council. And one of the areas that jumped out as important was advanced manufacturing. Advanced manufacturing is using innovation in process, people, and technology to become more competitive as a manufacturer. And that's really what Northland's all about. Buffalo Manufacturing Works engages with manufacturers here in Western New York and around North America to show them how to leverage technology to gain sustained competitive advantages. You know, a lot of people talk about, how do I bring a Fortune 500 company to my community? Well, the answer to that question is to grow it from within your community. That's what we hope Buffalo Manufacturing Works will do. What makes Buffalo Manufacturing Works so amazing is that we've really got world-class experts in these technologies right here in Buffalo, in our backyard. With our move to Northland Central, Buffalo Manufacturing Works is not only doubling our space, but we're increasing our opportunity to work with more manufacturers, conduct more projects, create more partnerships, and in the end, intensify the impact of our mission. This new space is really gonna help us achieve our mission, not only by providing more space to do more work, but really to have all of our partners under the same roof. By having Northland Workforce Training Center, Insight Consulting, Buffalo Manufacturing Works, and the Buffalo Niagara Manufacturing Alliance all co-located in one location, we are going to create an advanced manufacturing and energy ecosystem. An ecosystem where the manufacturing industry representatives can come to one location and get everything that they need. There are resources here, people, technology. That excitement being in one general corridor will change the dynamic. All the organizations here at Northland have worked together for years, but the opportunity to be in the same building with each other, to be side by side, is gonna make us much more efficient and effective, I think. It's really a new chapter in Buffalo manufacturing, but it connects us with our past. Buffalo Manufacturing Works is using a site where great things were made to help other manufacturers continue to make great things and to remain competitive in a global economy. We were very intentional about our design of Buffalo Manufacturing Works space here at Northland Central. It was important to us to keep a lot of the historical integrity of the facility from the blacksmith shop that was built in 1911 to the cranes that are overhead. A reminder to us and our team about the manufacturers that we work with and and the legacy of manufacturing here in the region. And we've specifically designed the space to inspire innovation. We have a, a mezzanine space, which we're gonna use for conferences and workshops where we can be talking to groups of manufacturers about innovation and what that means, but then they can also look down into our high bay and actually see cutting edge manufacturing innovation taking place. We also have developed a expansion of our STEM learning lab where we're going to be working with high school students and kids can come in, interact with these technologies and really learn about the technologies and the potential careers of the future. The stakes are high. Manufacturing is hugely important to the economy. Northland is located in the poorest areas in Buffalo. I think a real key for this entire development was that there were some good basic roots to what was happening still in the neighborhood. We still had businesses here that had stayed here. We still had folks in the neighborhood who had stayed here over the years. And they had dreams that we were able to identify I've seen a number of other projects when people just sort of roll in and say, bam, here we are. 
this is what we're going to do. This project has been carefully thought out. It's been carefully planned. When the uh, concept for the project first got started, we were, uh, we were contacted and, and fortunately we were given the opportunity to be a part of the, the thinking and the planning. If we didn't do this project right now in this neighborhood, some of the trends of poverty, poor education, high crime, blight would just continue. If nothing was done, if the Northland Corridor had never been thought of, the community would continue to decline. If this project had never happened, we would continue to live in the hopelessness. It's vacant properties, zombie properties, just abandoned. This redevelopment project can be transformative for this community. It's an anchor for the neighborhood, and it's a vision. Currently a second year student at Northland Workforce Academy. Upon graduation from the school, it'll, it's gonna be a game changer for me and my family. I've learned motor control systems, robotics, PLC systems, how to read schematics. I'm making a difference by showing a lot of females that this is something that you can do. Many persons who had lost their dreams now are able to fulfill those dreams. This isn't just about bringing money over to the Northland community. It's about providing training, about providing jobs, and providing the needs of major manufacturers all over America. Manufacturing then declined here in western New York and around the country, but we didn't give up. That's, that's Buffalo, that's western New York, that's manufacturing. It is so exciting to see the focus on manufacturing come back here. Buffalo has to be a place where great things are made. That's a part of our identity. At the end of the day, technology is great, but the key ingredient is really still people. People that want to work hard and people that are going to work together in order to see places like this neighborhood, the city, the region really rise again. I can't wait to see what happens next.